10 American musicians you never knew were Nigerians. Hi viewers! In today's video, we are going to look into the 10 American musicians you never knew were Nigerians. American musicians you never knew were Nigerians is a fascinating topic that highlights the diverse cultural background and influence of Nigerian heritage in the American music industry. It underscores how artists of Nigerian descent have contributed significantly to various music genres. Enriching the tapestry of American music with their unique perspectives and talents. It's a testament to the global reach and impact of Nigerian culture on a global stage, showcasing the power of music to transcend borders and unite people across continents. Now let's unveil the 10 American musicians you never knew were Nigerians. Number 1. Chika Chika is an American rapper, model, actor, composer, poet, and songwriter who gained notoriety on social media for her freestyles that went viral. She became well-known in 2018 after her video, A Letter to Kanye Omari West, went viral, and she criticized West for endorsing political analyst Candace Owens and publicly endorsing Donald Trump. Later in 2019, she signed with Warner Records, and in April of that year, she released her debut single, No Squares. She was a member of XXL's 2020 freshman class the next year and received a 2021 Grammy Award nomination for Best New Artist. The gifted rapper known by stage name Chika was born on March 9, 1997 as Jane Chika Oranika in Montgomery, Alabama. Chika, who is of Igbo origin, is the youngest of her parents' three daughters who are Nigerian-American. Number 2. Dax Although this artiste isn't technically an American, he is very much active on the U.S. rap scene. Daniel Nwosu Jr., born on 20 c 2 March 1994, better known by his stage name Dax, is a Nigerian-Canadian rapper, singer, and songwriter. Dax's birthplace might be in Canada, but his parents were born in Nigeria. Having lived his formative years in Canada, he later moved to Los Angeles, California to pursue his rap career. Dax rose to fame for the official music video of his song, Cash Me Outside, featuring Danielle Brigoli. In April 2021, he ended speculations about his roots and origins when he shared a photo of the Nigerian flag tatted on his neck with the caption, Yes, I am Nigerian. Number 3. Maxo Cream Emekwanem Ogugua Biosa Jr., better known by his stage name, Maxo Cream, is a Nigerian-American rapper and composer from Houston, Texas, who was born on March 29, 1990. Through his father, a Nigerian immigrant to the United States, Cream possesses Nigerian ancestry. He began to become well-known in 2012 after he posted a YouTube remix of Kendrick Lamar's Riga Mortis. He gained attention from his early mixtapes, Retro Card and Quick Strikes. 2018 saw the release of his debut album Punkin, and 2019 saw the release of Brandon Banks, his follow-up and big label debut. Maxo Cream is well known for his frank lyrics and for utilizing his music to compellingly recount his difficult upbringing as the son of an African immigrant in Houston, Texas. Number 4. Causes Rapper Cause's debut studio album, Cause and Effect, was released on October 3, 2014. He is presently signed to Dreamville Records, J. Cole's label, and Interscope Records. On October 1, 1994, in Los Angeles, California, the J. Cole protege Cody Rashad Osaji was born. His parents, a Nigerian father and a Louisianan mother, were from Louisiana. The rapper's eclectic background led to his being influenced by a variety of musical styles, including rap and reggae. In a 2014 interview, he stated to Interview Magazine, I have always loved music. My mom used to play a lot of old school rap music when I was a kid. Reggae is what I listen to because my dad is from Nigeria. Number 5. Tyler, the Creator Tyler Gregory Okonma, born in Los Angeles in 1991, is an American rapper and founding member of the hip-hop collective Odd Future. He is known as Tyler, the Creator, and has won numerous awards, including two Grammys, three BET Hip Hop Awards, a Brit Award, and an MTV Video Music Award. Tyler's Nigerian father has Igbo ancestry, while his American mother is of mixed African-American and European-Canadian descent. 
In an interview, Tyler admitted to initially embracing his Nigerian last name, but started using it more in 2016. He now uses his full name, Tyler Okonma, in all caps, and believes that as he gets older, he starts to change and appreciate things he didn't like. Number 6. Chamillionaire At the age of 4, Chamillionaire relocated to Houston, Texas, where he was raised by an African-American Christian mother and a Muslim Yoruba father in Washington, D.C. When Chamillionaire was just a young adolescent, his parents divorced. In 2002, he started his solo career with local releases, which included the joint album Get Ya Mind Correct with Paul Wall, a boyhood buddy and fellow Houston rapper. In 2005, he became a record label employee of Universal Records, where he published The Sound of Revenge. It featured the number one Grammy-winning song Raiden, starring Crazy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony, and the popular tune Turn It Up with Lil Flip. Having been missing from our music charts for quite a long time now, today Chamillionaire is more recognized for his entrepreneurial exploits in the tech space amongst a number of industries. Number 7. Whale It On September 21, 1984, Olubawale Victor Akintimihin was born in Northwest Washington, D.C. His parents immigrated to the U.S. from Austria in 1979. They were both from the Yoruba ethnic group in Southwest Nigeria. The rapper said in an interview with OK Africa that despite being a black guy in America, he views himself as a Nigerian first, because that is where he was raised. Because I am 100% Nigerian, that is my bloodline. When his song, Dig Dug, Shake It, became well known in his hometown in 2006, Whale began to earn local notoriety and proceeded to make songs for the local market. Whale has collaborated with a number of Nigerian musicians such as Wizkid, Davido, and Olamide and has dabbled with Afrobeats. Number 8. Jidenna Jidenna Theodore Mobison, born on May 4, 1985, is an American rapper and singer. He is signed to Janelle Monet's Wonderland Records label and distributed through Epic Records. Jidenna gained fame with his 2015 single Classic Man, featuring Gian Arthur and his 2017 debut album Chief. The song debuted at number 49 on the Billboard Hot R&B Hip Hop Airplay chart. Born in Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, to Tama Mobison and Oliver Mobison, he grew up in Nigeria, where his father worked as a computer science professor. He represents Nigerian culture through his music and unique sense of fashion. In 2019, he released his sophomore album, 85 to Africa, featuring guest appearances from Nigerian acts Mr. Easy and Siun Kuti. Jidenna describes the album as the soundtrack someone might listen to if they were traveling from America to Africa. Number 9. Rotimi Olurotimi Akinosho, known professionally as Rotimi, is an American singer and actor best known for his roles in Starz series Boss and Power. Born in Maplewood, New Jersey, Rotimi was raised by Yoruba origin parents, with his father being an investment banker and his mother working for the government. In an interview, Rotimi shared how his parents helped him stay connected to his Nigerian roots, exposing him to wealth and poverty in a Pafi village and Imo state. Despite the challenges, Rotimi found camaraderie in the village. Starting his career as an R&B artist, Rotimi has evolved his sound over the years, now incorporating strong Afrobeats elements. His most successful release is 2019's Love Rhythm. Number 10. Toby Nwigwe Toba Chukwu, American rapper and singer Dubam Nwigwe, better known by his stage name Toba Nwigwe, was born on March 8, 1987 in Houston, Texas's Aleph area. Nwigwe is an Igbo woman who was born into a family of Nigerian immigrants. In the Igbo language, his name Toba Chukwu means praise God. The rapper started to amass a fan base on Instagram and YouTube thanks to his weekly Sunday postings of photos and videos. Every Sunday since August 2016, he has shared an original song and music video on social media. His music has been well received. Michelle Obama even included his song, I'm Dope, on her playlist for when she worked out. Toby was nominated for Best New Artist at the 65th Annual Grammy Awards in 2022. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a comment in the comment section below.